Hey everybody, welcome back, back in Blender. Now, uh, <clears throat> last video we went over your textures. Let's pull this up here. So we went over uh, textures and your coloring, why you set colors different, how to hide objects. So you can work on other objects in there. And uh, like right here, glass. Clicked on glass, boom, now we can see the headlights. Yeah, I know. I still have to fix this piece right here on this truck. That's one of the, uh, the last blender things I have to do. Of course, most of that engine bay is going bye-bye anyway, so. Controls easy. Alright. So, we're looking at headlights. Now, there are several different sets of head or glass layers on this. The first layer for the headlight is the covers. As you can see there. A lot of people will just go ahead and vertex paint that. And that'll give you that whole area. You know, I didn't slice it, so like if you made, you just wanted, let's say you just wanted the uh, the fog light. Well, you just come down here, click a, you know, click down here on your on your faces box. Click click a spot down there. Hit Control L. Got the whole thing. P separate. Now you've got that one piece, and you can do this to just that one piece, if you wanted to do that. I personally like leaving the glass there to where it looks like glass, so. On this truck, per personal preference on that. Okay, so now we've got another glass mat here, as you can see. But a lot of the guys I've seen do this truck made that glass mat the static light which is perfectly fine you can do that I personally did not want to do that so what what leads to uh, what what does that leave you with to uh, vertex paint you know to make your lights work well it leaves you the actual physical light now let's see if I can let's get hold of the blinker all right you see how it's Right now it's on the chrome mat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide. We don't need bed details. Uh, we need those. Don't need the block. Don't need the body. Rear bumper. Cap glass. Um, uh, should have just set it all up first. There's all my lights. Rear suspension. Get rid of all that. As you can see, there's there's tons of uh, little pieces in here. I'll leave my windshields up there because we're going to go over that as well. If I had uh, my editing program that I used to have that still worked, I would edit this part out, make it a little slower or a little faster video. Uh, might need the housing, first lights only. Don't need the chassis. Don't need that. Don't need that. That, that. That, or that. We're not going to worry about the, uh, the blinker. Or mirror blinker. Alright, so fog lights, 
blinkers, the glass. We won't need the grill. We don't need the hood, hood details. Mirrors, we're not worried about mirrors. Uh, gonna leave the light. Lights, 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 lights. Alright, I think I got everything that we're gonna go over. Okay. Yeah, how did that, I don't know how I missed the uh, bumpers there. Okay, so lights. As you can see, I click on that, it was blue. And as soon as I clicked on it, it went green. That's because there's two pieces there. As you can see, fog lights, fog lights, no light. Now I wanted them to have a chrome backer, which we went over. Over here, chrome. But the fog lights, I wanted to light up. And I wanted them to have that shape when they lit up. Now, the way I did that was I went over here on the original fog light snow light and I clicked duplicate twice. And when I did that, that brought up fog light snow light 01. Okay? So, what I did was I renamed it. I got rid of this mat, and what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna kick this. We're gonna kick this way over here, and we're gonna pan over there and work on it over here. That way you can see the before and after. Okay, so now it's got no material mat on it. So what I'm gonna do is come down here. There's fog light chrome mat. And that's my mat I use for the light. Now I've I've re I've learned to rename these to like lit fog light lit. That way I don't get my mats messed up. This is the way I do it. It might not be proper. It might not be the correct way. I'm sure someone out there's like, oh, you did it wrong. Well, it works so. It's better to have working lights than no lights at all. If you have a better way, more power to you. Come over here to edit mode for fog lights. We are going to put those on just the painted metal. Alright, so now we've got our structure. This is going to be our lights. Next thing you do is you come up here to vertex paint. And we want our fog lights to have kind of a blue hue. So we'll click on that. And of course I've already got these vertex painted. So we're going to go with, uh, let's say we're going to go with green light. Just for this example. Now, you see how quickly I painted that? I mean, you see all the little spots? You have to sit here and scroll around and scroll around and keep scrolling until you get everything painted. Now, whenever you open this, see right here where it says RA? It's normally like at a 20 or something like that. See this little bitty circle it gives you? It takes forever to paint with this little guy. And whenever you scroll, you still have a problem. You still got to go in and, and rework that. I cracked that thing up to 500. You can see the outside ring there. And this way you can just sit here and scroll around and get all of your painting. And if you get both pieces, because these are all these two are conjoined, if you get all your pieces in one view, you're painting both of them at the same time. So it takes a little less time. As you scroll around, you can see it's still got several little blue chunks on there. 
and you don't have to have it completely painted but it's a lot better if you get as much of it in every detail that you possibly can painted all right so there's vertex painting there's our lights And as you see, all I have on is traceable use mist. That's it. That's all I've got on on those. Alright, so there's example number one. All right, get rid of those. Um, yeah, see, nothing else is clicked on those. Those are the lights I actually used in the truck. Alright, so now we're going to look at our blinkers. Come over here, click on the blinker, and then we do the painstaking, there we go, no light, there's light. Uh, we're going to take the no light, come over here, duplicate, and we're going to scroll it on over. Alright, I have these two separated, so... Alright, so there's there's our no light. So this has got the chrome mat on it and everything like that. So we'll come up here, bring this back up, um, bring this back down. The front blinker. So we'll put that on the same mat. So left front blinker. Now I found out on blinkers you can just have a blinker mat. That's it. So you just need one. You don't have to have left front, right front, left rear, right rear. You just need a blinker mat. Because that mat that material, you're gonna set your blinker uh volume in GE off of that material. And I'll show you what I'm talk what I'm talking about later on my uh, power wagon. Alright, so, once again, here's our blinker. We'll go to uh, Vertex Paint. It's already painted. It's going to be blinking orange. So you don't have to, you know, I've already painted it. You'll have to paint yours, whatever color you want your blinker to be. You come down here. I've got Vertex Color Light selected on that one. Um... You can select that on your other lights as well. It works both ways. But on this one, I've got it actually selected vertex color light. Alright, so you're like, alright, that's cool. Yeah, you just showed us how to do the exact same thing over again. Not exactly. Here's the extra piece that you need to know. Edit mode. Make sure you got everything highlighted. Now this is the no light, so this is on the chrome mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back to painted metal. So after you come in, smart UV protect, 0 0.003, you come up with this. You highlight that, you scroll down here to where it says down, down right, up, all that good stuff. Click to make your blinkers work. You click down down right that is your blinker that that is your blinker material here so that is going to make the light flash pretty simple go back to object mode now whenever you put that in GE that light whenever you turn your vertex color or your um, uh, static light on and you set your uh, light number, that light, whenever you scroll in and out, or pan around, will start blink, will blink. As you move around, it'll, it'll light up and get darker, light up and get darker. Okay, so, uh, go ahead and delete that. I did the same thing for these lights. As you can see, bedside light, no light, bedside light, tail lights, 
That's how I did my tail lights. There's my brake. There's my runner. There's my blinker. The brake light and the running light are all on the uh, same mat. Or, uh, not mat, but uh, they're all on the same material. So we'll come over here. Ah, oh, damn it. Come over here, edit mode. I've got it over here on painted plastic. That's painted plastic, that's painted plastic, that's plain plastic. Now, they're on different materials, as you can see. Rear blinkers. You see how I put rear blinker mat? There's two blinkers on one mat. That is absolutely fine. Because you're still going to come down and program each light, your left light and your right light, the same way. It should be down here, down, down, and right. Running lights, I have them on the same mat. And my brake lights, I have them on the same mat. Here's the thing with that. Your brake lights, you want everything that's going to light up when you hit your brakes all on the same material. You want your running lights all on the same material. And you want your blinkers on the same material. Your blinkers will get called. These will get called by the mat, and this will get called by the mat. So there's... A pretty simple cut and bake of the blender side of your lights. Everything must be vertex painted the color you want it to shine. Do you want it white? Just a white light? You just leave it white. I like having a blue hue to the lights. Makes it look like the newer LED setup. Uh, another quick, not a quick thing. Here's here's my windshield. I have uh find it here windshield as you see I've got a windshield backer as well and the windshield so I've got my glass way up here and it is on clear glass so we'll slide that back over object mode We'll click the windshield frame. Come over here, go edit. Go edit mode. Now I've got this on painted plastic. But on the truck, this you can actually kind of see through it a little bit. That's because I put an albedo map of a dark tint. Uh, a darkened tinted clear on it for an albedo map and for my tail light cover come down here you see how it's kind of a see-through right here that's how i made that see-through now this <clears throat> i did before i learned how to do this so i've at one point rework this but in this particular blender file I didn't so as you can see here you can kind of see through that well how you do that is you come down here and click transparency I'll scroll up <clears throat> transparency and then you change your alpha number here to how transparent you want see one can't see through it 0.7 you can see through it 0.1 it's pretty much see through 0.5 you can see through it but you can still see it's kind of there I want was a 0.7 on this one uh, once you get it in GE, you put it in the window mode, it should show up see through like that. So, 
I'm going to close this. No, we don't want to save. Uh, we're going to open up our other blender. Here's the power wagon. Come back here. Left blinker. Uh, red glass. Cover light. There we go. Red glass. As you can see, you can see through it. And you can't see through it right here in, in Blender. See? It's still solid state. But that's what the mask is going to look like. The color mask. Keep that in mind. The color mask is going to look like that. So. Anything you want to be see-through like that, you make sure that it's on its own mask. If I, you know, made the body on the same mask as my see-through part, you, you'd see through the body. So you, you, uh, you definitely don't want to do that. And here you can see I've copied my headlights. There's my glass. There's my low beam, there's my high beam. Pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so, what's it look like in Blender? Or not Blender, but uh, GE. Well, here we go. As you can see, this is uh, my finished version of the truck. Daddy, Daddy, you get a white kitchen. Um, alright, so here we are in GE, and don't let all the lights scare you. Uh, first thing we're going to do is come down here and show, I'm going to turn lights off, so we can see clearly what we're doing here. As you can see, everything's lit up there. So come through here, lights, do, do, do. Down here. Okay, so these are all of our lit up lights right here. Don't don't mind this. This was a <laughs> this was a a temporary fix for a problem that I ran into. Um, it works. But normally I put my real lights in their own area. But I ran into an issue late last night coating lights, so I just kind of slapped that in there. It works. So you can do it that way, or you can do it this way. So this, this low beam here is my actual headlight, my low beam headlight that will light up that we did, that I just showed you guys how to do in, in Blender. So nice lit, lit up light there. We'll pull her out here. So that's nice and lit up. I've actually got my my real lights, which you have to set up so you have uh, light casting. So everything, all the objects get lit up. You know, your your headlights actually work. All the all you did in vertex paint is make it make the headlight look lit up. And then you come in and you make all these stupid lights to make light casting. So, uh, on to the next part of my headlights. The way I do them. Alright, so, come back over here, show, turn lights off so I don't have to look at those. Low beam. So this is this one and this one over here that's kind of sticking out. As you see here, I've got everything... Static light, blah, 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 blah. I've got an albedo map put on it. Come down here, light control to 85. I'm going to put that at the zero. As you can see, there's kind of a clear glass there. Well, I made it a window in Blender. And then... As you see, I took the Abito map off. I have an Abito map 
that I use called clear glass and now you can see it's a slightly tinted piece of glass sitting there and the way the game works is this light cover piece that I made it's only going to be seen whenever I turn the light on you follow that the game will pull in to the code, say, all right, he turned headlights on stage one. It's going to call this node, which is this piece. So it's going to call this node right here, which is referenced to this right here. And this part is going to show up. It's not going to be visible in game until that node is called by the game for the headlight so you're like well why don't I leave this at just zero and then when I get into the game if it gets called you know hit F and it'll light up doesn't work that way you gotta set your light in here on your light control you gotta set it up so it's lit this is the way I do it there's oh, whoops this is the way I do it there's Probably a better way, probably a smarter way, but this is the way I figured out to do it all on my own. So this is basically how I'm doing them. So there's there's how you get your lights all lit up. And it's kind of hard to see. Zooming in and out. I've got I've got a blinker on that. We'll come back here to the rears. You can kind of see them blink. You see how it got a little brighter? A little brighter? A little brighter? Alright. So. We'll, come, we'll get rid of this. Actually, no, we need that. That's the wrong one. Lights. Uh, front drivers, front passenger, left blinker. Now see, I have my blinker separate. This one over here, I did this in Blender. So I've got my right blinker and I got my left blinker. So slide this over. There you go. Now I set it up the exact same way I set up the others. And I've got my light control down here. So there you can actually see the light blinking. So now you're like, all right, well, what's the, uh, that clear piece of glass that you made for the cover? What's that look like? You know, that you showed us the red glass. All right, well, that's pretty easy, too. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on my lights. I'm going to click visibility off. And now you can't see any of those lights, so they're all hidden, except ones that are not in the lights platform, which I think are the rotating lights, yes. I put those in their own thing, rotating spotlight, as you can see down there. We're going to take that, slide that over. And, alright, so there's the clear glass. And let's see if I can actually... Um, because have all the lights on there. You can't click on anything anymore. So I'll have to come to visual. I think I redone these at one point. Yep, there it is. Alright, so we'll scroll these over. And there you go. That's uh what they look like. They've got a a, a dark red hue to them. Uh, let's create some light in here. Alright, now we got a little light. Now you can see the red hue. And then, in game, you can actually see this red hue. Another nice thing is, uh, see those little squares there little grid I, I actually had a little grid to put in here to give them that 
old timey look like the headlights here. And all I did was same 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 technique, made it a window, beto map, clear, bunch of stuff like that. It it gets complicated, but just play around with Blender. That's all I can tell you to do. Is just sit there and try new things in your Blender on your glass, and the way uh, the glass tints and stuff, and then just come down here to your to your parts you know whenever you get them in game or in blender I mean once you get them in here you know just play around with them uh, try a couple different couple different th things if you want like right now I've got an abito map on this I take the abito map off you can see it's not see through it's just a uh, flat piece of a plastic there. Come down here. Window. Let's see. So I always just set it to none. And I've got a clear Albedo map here and here. And there we are. Now it's clear red. You know, and you can you can make any albedo map that you that you want. You just gotta learn how to. There's another clear glass. That's more of a lighter clearness. And that's how you do uh, your lights and everything. Uh, I do the same thing for my glass here. Like right now I'm on my window somehow. Window specular. And if I take that off, you can see it's like that. Come over here. And I can put a dirty windshield texture on it. And we'll come down here, we'll hide the dirt, hide the scratches. So that's a, uh, a kind of a dirty windshield texture there. If you want to make it look like an old, you know, old ass glass or whatever. Um, or just regular clear glass. I don't like using it. The one I like using is light window tint, and that just looks beautiful. So that's what I use on all of mine, is the light window tint. So, uh, next step in uh, the lights is the crappy part. This is your real lights. So what we're going to do is, we're going to grab one of these lights that I created earlier, and since I have my real lights hidden, I'll be able to do this off of this light right here. So what we're going to do here is, we've got this bottom light selected, we're going to put everything at zero, so we've got a good starting point. Um, turn on, show lights. Come up here to my real lights. I'll turn visibility off on those. Uh, we'll still have a few lights. We'll, we'll do a tail light. We'll do a tail light. I'll we'll come back here. And as you see, it's got no cone yet. Oh crap, I hit the wrong button. As you can see here, it's got. Uh, absolutely no no cone to it yet so we'll slide this node back to where we can see what we're doing here uh, come over here to light you got directional point and spot this is what point looks like this is what spot looks like 
So then what you do is now you've got your spot, you just kind of line it up as best you can. It takes a while to get everything lined up. Uh, there's a hotkey for being able to uh, like point and place things in GE, but I don't remember what it is. So, but yeah, you want to get this node as close to the glass as possible, but not behind it. That way it looks, you know, somewhat realistic. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you want to put your angle on it and just kind of, that way it shines down at the ground sooner versus shining down, you know, three blocks away from the tail light. You want it to shine down right through there. Next thing you can do. So that's that's how you set up all your lights right there. That's that's exactly how you get them started. But as you can see, you can't see the cone on there. So while over here in, in your light, see where it says range? It's a 500. We don't need 500. We only need that's 50. It's tail light that we're doing. Uh, my brights I do at 75. Most of the other stuff I do at 45 or like 35 like brake lights and stuff so that's another thing that you're gonna basically have to take in game and play around with and see how you like them uh the next thing i'm running out of time i gotta hurry up uh next thing you gotta do is uh color so if i wanted this to be tail light i just put it like that boom now it's gonna code out as red that light is going to be red. And you can play around with these lights and make them any color you want. Of course, this is white, you know, blue. Most of my lights are set right about here. That way it gives it that natural light look. So that's how you set up all your lights. Uh, real quick, not going to go in real deep on it. I'm going to go real quick on it. As you can see, all these lights, I'm going to focus on one light, one light only. I'm going to use this stacked headlight here. See, there's two of them. There's the left, there's the right. That's the way I put them. I'm going to focus on that one right there. So in your XML, you should somewhere have lights and states. Right here, I have real lights, low light, low, or low beams. This is the stage that you want them to come on to. So zero is the first time you hit F. So zero is your running lights. One is your low beam. Two is your high beam. Three is, you know, so forth, so on. I've got mine set different because I have the spotlights coming on first. Next thing you do, you do put that on your low light. You put your low beams on your low lights. On your high, you put everything else. And then you reference a number to the stage that you're having them turn on at. Front running lights, zero and zero. Brake light is on brake lights. I don't have a reverse light. Left blinker, left front blinker. Those are on turn light left. Turn light right is right blinker, right front blinker. Come down here to default lights. These are the lights that actually physically light up. Okay, these right here are your light nodes for your real lights that you made. These, all these blue squiggly lines and the yellow lines, that is all this right here. You're calling it right here by the name or the node number. I do it by the name so I can keep track of where they're at. Down here on your default lights, you can take your default lights these are the ones that I showed you how to make in uh, in Blender. So, uh, right, uh, gotta scroll up. Turn these off. All right, these are the default lights. As you can see, I've got one real light stuck in the default light. And that was, like I said, I ran into an issue. I had to make a quick change, and this fixed it. So you can set it up that way as well. I'm not going into that way. But if you call this light right here, front light cover, which is my uh, high beam, I think. Uh, 
it'll it'll get called here. So front light light front cover. Stage four. So that's my high beam. That's where I've got my high beam set at. So I've got it on four. Your real light node needs to be on four. That way it calls at the same time. It's the same for all your lights except your blinkers. Your blinkers get called right here and your brake lights get called from right here. You just type in all the lights that you want to come on and what function. Then you come down here, brake lights. They get called here. Reverse lights get called here. Turn lights get called here and here. That's where they get called at for the game. So <clears throat> all your lights that physically light up on the truck itself, not the not the light casting, but the actual physical lights that light up all come down here in these lights right here under default lights. All your all your main lights that you want to come on by nodes, by by light functions, come up here. Everything that you want, like when you hit your brakes, reverse, turns, they all go there. Then, come down here to your ID3, or I3D mapping. ID, I3D mapping, ID lights, node 008, okay, that's my light right here, all you did was copy that, slap it into your node, slap the, tech, the, the name from up top here, lights, copy that, dang it, slap it in right there, now, now that light is coat or that form is coded, you come down to I3D, and then you code every single light that you have exactly like this boom 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 as as you go down your list the node changes numbers that's where a lot of editors get into problems where they change something on a truck and then the lights are on all the time that well i don't know why the lights are on why does this not work now why does this not work now because you you screwed up and you added a node somewhere and screwed up the orientation of all the nodes. So like if I wanted to add a, a wheel, that would be super simple for me, the way I set it up. Left front stock, left front stock. If I wanted to add a chrome wheel there, I just gotta make another, uh, another file. Name it something else and add that node on. Because the other wheels are called from different directories. So, that's how you can do that. Then you come down here and you code it in. As you can see, here's all my, uh, my lights. Here's all my real lights. My visual. Uh, I just coded in the main visual and a couple of the other things. Uh, you know, like I said, truck's not done. It's kind of been a beta form. Uh, my rotating lights, I made them their own little area and I mapped all that. That's pretty much it. That's the uh, the gist of uh, coding for the game. I uh, hope this video can help you. Well, not coding for the game, but lights for the game. Coding the lights and banking lights for the game. If I went too fast on this video, I'm sorry. I uh, rushed for time today. So, uh, hopefully that video can help some of you guys out. And I will see you all later. I have a Christmas party to go to.